what is going on family welcome back to another video if you are new here my name is nai and i am a second year medical student in the uk today we've got a productive day in the life video at 9 a.m my alarm goes off and i wake up even though i don't really want to have a quick prayer pray for guidance for the day ahead do up my bed and you know the whole shebang a lot of people say that I brush my teeth like a psycho, but I don't really think I look weird. I think I look completely normal. Have a quick shower. I don't really have a skincare routine. I usually just use a charcoal like face wash thing, but I don't have that right now. So soap and water it is. If you've ever wondered what my secret superpower is, it's getting dressed in one second, as you just saw. I'm also trying to get my ways back, so I brush my hair a lot. At about 9.30, I take the show to the kitchen and do some tidying up because my flatmate Simba is a world-renowned chef who has no knowledge of the concept of cleaning up, so I do that for him. I am a firm believer that people who don't like coffee are heathens and probably borderline psychopaths. This stuff is just amazing, especially the Kenko blend I'm using at the moment. I am planning on getting a Chemex to make coffee like my favorite YouTubers, so stay tuned for that. I like having a quick bowl of 2 minute oats in the morning because it really jump starts my metabolism and it makes me hungrier later on in the day. Otherwise I won't really have an appetite and won't end up eating at all. While I wait for the food to get ready I take a quick minute to reflect and meditate whilst giving you guys a chance to go follow me on Instagram at Naimurei. Check me out I've got a lot of nice pictures on there well at least I think they're nice. So yeah go have a look. I like having breakfast whilst watching something on YouTube, probably something car related because I have dreams of buying myself a Lamborghini when I am a world renowned surgeon in the future. 10am is when the real work starts and I sit down and start planning what exactly it is I'm going to do. Using a combination of Google Docs and Notion, I'm making a table for a block. I'm going to be going over my GU block from last year because there's some lectures on there I didn't completely understand. The table I'm making is just from a simple template from Notion. It basically has columns with the lecture, the Google Sheet I'm going to make, the flashcards I'm going to make, the difficulty of it, the date so that I have that all in order and you'll see me bring it all together later on in the video. For the next hour or so, I'm on the phone with Dr. Robert Maweni, an ENT surgeon working in Swindon in the UK, and he's just talking to me about his work life, his whole experience, how he got there, and just giving me a lot of mentorship and advice, um, which is really insightful, and we speak for, like I said, about an hour. 1pm strikes, and it's time for some FIFA, arguably one of the the greatest games to ever grace the earth and I just jam away and cool down. I then get really hungry all of a sudden and decide to order some food on Deliveroo. Today I decide to go for some Chinese food and again if you don't like Chinese food there's seriously something wrong with you. Honestly consider getting checked out. I then sit down, watch some Peaky Blinders whilst I'm having lunch and, you know, waste a lot of time eating slower than I usually would. A quick call to the missus, probably getting shouted at for something, but love her really. I started using Final Cut Pro to edit, so at 3.30, I hopped onto a Skillshare class by Ali Abdao on how to edit on Final Cut, and I literally just bash through this and try and learn as much as I can. At around 4 p.m. I decide it's time for some dishes to be washed and I do that as well as doing my laundry and I'm quite happy because I finally figured out how to use the washing machine which took a lot of time. At 4.30 I move on to some hardcore work and I'm doing a renal physiology lecture. I start by doing my learning objectives and outcomes because I want to know what to look out for in the lecture and sort of know what to expect as well. When it comes to my lectures, I use a combination of PowerPoint and Google Sheets to get them done. And I usually have the two tabs side by side. As you can see, I go through the PowerPoint on the left hand side and just flip through it. On the right hand side, what I'm doing is making a question bank in a sort of flashcard kind of style. And I basically put a question on the left and a detailed answer on the right. 
I then bring it all together in Notion, as you can see, and I have links to the Google Sheet I've done and the PowerPoint for the original lecture. And then when I'm trying to study them, I have the questions on the right like I've done before. And I just block out the right side with the answers or the information and I go through the questions and then when I've you know asked myself the question, I then look at the answer and see how right or wrong I was. And I literally do that for the whole Google Sheet until I've sort of mastered what's on there or I've done a significant part of that. This method of studying is called active recall and it's something that was inspired by Ali Abdal who looked at a lot of methods and a lot of research that was done into like learning stuff and memory retention and all that so i really recommend this style if you want to know more you should check out ali abdal's channel and he goes in depth through all these learning methods at around 6 30 pm my brain is totally fried from all the work and i decide to call it quits before i start wasting time and just looking at the screen and not really learning or remembering anything we then get some more takeaway food, this time a slightly unhealthy choice. We get Domino's pizza and some wings and chicken. And, you know, it's just one of those days when we don't feel like cooking. Back to the maniac brushing and I get ready for bed and that's pretty much the whole day done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and catch you guys in the next one.